In recent weeks, you have uh, most likely heard the discussion about the RTX 5000 and why it is not in stock. And uh, for example, uh, Hardware Unboxed, they said in their podcast last week that uh, it looks like it's a manipulation from Nvidia's side to not have the cards in stock. It was really hard for me to even listen through that due to the lack of context because it's like they're missing one huge part that you cannot not have in the equation if you want to get to any type of actual answers about why we don't have any RTX 5000 series in stock and why I made a video already before the 5000 series was released about why we won't have any GPUs in stock and how we are looking into a year and maybe years to come where we will most likely have a GPU shortage that will remind us of the recent mining times during COVID and why AMD can have basically whatever price to their GPUs as well because I don't think they will have any in stock either. So what is it that Hardware Unbox is uh, missing? In the end, it's the consumer. And I'm not talking about you and me who are consuming Nvidia's gaming graphics cards. If you look into how big part of the revenue is gaming graphics cards, it's basically none. A few years ago, we were the ones who were uh, consuming Nvidia's products. And then when AI started to take more and more space, they started consuming more and more GPU power. To put in perspective what we are looking at here, the producer of all of the graphics cards from both NVIDIA and AMD, they come from TSMC, which is the manufacturer of basically all of the semiconductors. Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, most of all of the chips are made out from TSMC. The problem for TSMC is that they cannot like just build another machine to make more chips. So they're gonna sell portions of the producing node to different manufacturers. And here in India and AMD, they have definitely told them before how much they want to have and they will be given a certain amount of that node. If you're gonna buy an H100 GPU made for AI, they cost like $40,000. We're talking about data centers, buying these to, to build these super AI machines to make calculations for big corporations that is gonna make money from that. Uh, we're listening to a Silicon Valley tech business podcast and their concern was not that the H100 is like $40,000. Their concern was how is the US gonna produce enough electricity to drive all of these data centers. And try to put your head around that. They think that the future is that they're gonna have so many data centers running so many GPUs doing AI stuff that they don't know how is the US gonna produce that much electricity. So when someone says that Nvidia is manipulating the prices because there is no competition, I don't think that AMD came to the conclusion to not make high-end graphics cards only because they weren't selling that good. I think they came to that conclusion since they are the biggest brand for CPU on data centers. They just passed uh, Intel and they are making way more money from the data centers. And if they put their RDNA into AI GPUs and they take their production node that they are given from TSMC to make their uh, version of um, the AI GPUs, they will earn a lot more money. But it was easy for them to say, oh, we're not gonna make any uh, gaming graphics cards anymore because no one is buying them. Nvidia, to, to be fair, yeah, of course, they are always saying like, oh, yeah, we're gonna stop producing 4080 and 4090 because we're gonna start producing the new ones. 
and I knew that was horse crap already when they said it. For us gamers discussing or you know, thinking about uh, their margins on the GPUs and then we're gonna hire the prices and like the data centers did not exist and as uh, Nvidia could produce as many graphics cards as they wanted to. It's simply not true. This is just from like Nvidia's numbers of how much is going to data centers, what are they talking about when they are speaking to the shareholders. That's also a reason for why if would have been like an actual high increase in price, then I would at least have thought that there was a chance in the world that they tried to let the gamers compete on the price with the data centers. But when the price got announced and was, in my opinion, uh, reasonable, if there would not have been competition with the data centers, yeah, then I knew that we're screwed. And this is the thing, like the 5000 series cards, they are made on the 4 nanometer uh, process, which is the same as uh, the 8100 is. And therefore, I really don't think that we will see that many cards getting provided to us, neither by AMD or Nvidia. Does anyone remember uh, back in the last GPU shortage? What AMD said when Nvidia didn't have any GPUs in stock, they said, oh, we're gonna have plenty in stock. We're looking forward to, to the release and that the gamers will actually be able to buy the graphics cards. I don't know, but I think that we're gonna have one of those times where history has a strange way of repeating. I would really appreciate if someone would like prove me wrong because it's not as I've been doing some great research on this. It's more of I have a thesis that seems to play out exactly as I thought it would be. I might be missing some uh, crucial information about this, but so far nothing seems to oppose that. So the recommendations of, oh, you should wait, you should not upgrade, you should uh, buy it later when the price is lower because this is so bad value. I don't know. Uh, if I wanted an upgrade right now, I would buy it right now, if there was any cards to buy whatsoever, because I think there's a great chance that we're looking into a future where there will be no graphics cards whatsoever to buy, and the ones that gets out, yeah, they're gonna be bought in a split second. Like, let's remember for how long time we haven't had any NVIDIA high-end cards. In around six months that we haven't got any 4090, basically no 4080s. Basically, I mean, the 4090, 5080 was a paper launch. What I fear is that we're going into an era of not being able to produce as many GPUs as the amount is not all close, we could be looking into quite many years before we are getting uh, consumer graphics cards back to us. If Nvidia were able to make as many H100s and uh, AI GPUs as they wanted, and at the same time make as many of the gaming GPUs as they wanted, they would do it. Because they knew that the demand was higher since it didn't sell the 4090, 4080 for many months because they were gonna produce the 5080, 5090. And what do you think that they did during this time? Do you think they were actually producing 5080s and 5090s for like five months and they're just popping them to themselves because they want to push the price up? I find it ridiculous that they would do that to keep a margin a few hundred dollars per card higher and also gamble on that AMD wouldn't have any cards in stock either. I would uh, really uh, find comfort in uh, some information suggesting that I'm actually wrong about this.